Good evening, everybody. This is Mark at Discover Your Home. Thank you for joining me on this blustery Wednesday evening here in the Windy City. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit tonight about uh, Kitchen Islands and some of the shapes and sizes that uh, we're seeing in regards to the uh, islands that are in your kitchen. We're not talking about the Hawaiian Islands, but we are talking about islands, that, that big bank of cabinets and giant slab of uh, quartz in the middle of your kitchen. So uh, what are we seeing today? What's out there? Uh, kind of throw out some ideas to you folks, and then we'll have at it. Uh, first and foremost, what we, tr we tr try to let people know is you're going to want to have a minimum clearance uh, to all your appliances, uh, preferably around 42 inches, especially between your um, your dishwasher, your refrigerator, your stove, uh, between that and the island. If you got a little bit bigger kitchen, fantastic. You don't have a problem with that. But uh, in, in a lot of cases, um, you're, you're kind of nip and tuck with the... Uh, with the, uh, the 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 42 inches uh, in my kitchen, I have a little smaller kitchen, so yeah, that that becomes a, a little bit of a challenge. So layout is is very important when it comes to uh, um, uh, doing your kitchen island and making sure the size fits and, and countertop space and everything like that. So, um, well, first and foremost, what you want to do is determine the purpose of the island. Uh, is it for meal preparation? You know. Generally, that's kind of what a lot of smaller kitchens are used. Mine is perfect for that. It's it's a great slab to do a lot of chopping. Uh, everybody can kind of work around, so it's really kind of nice. It works well for our kitchen, personally. Um, also, entertaining or being able to dine right there at the uh, at the island, which is kind of, there again, getting back to size as far as the amount of space in your kitchen you're going to definitely want to think about considering that. Um, we found that a lot of homes in the 80s and 90s had these big islands, and they were just for utilit utilitarian purposes. They were just there for functionality, just a big top uh, cabinet space, but really didn't uh, get to utilize it for more entertaining purposes. A lot of times now we're moving cooktops, uh, sinks over to the island, so uh, you've got a larger island. Uh, you might, you know, talk about different shapes and everything, but uh, you're seeing a lot more that's moved from, say, either you're moving the sink over to the um, the island, or maybe you're putting a small preparation sink in your island. Um, and we're also doing a fair amount of cooktops too that we see. Uh, our traditional shapes, pretty much a rectangle. Uh, what we're seeing now is uh, more or less getting either more of a squared look or possibly a squared look with a radius countertop. So it kind of gives a feel for a little bit more space uh, for people to sit at while they're uh, eating their meals or being entertained. Um, some of the odd shy, uh, excuse me, odd size shapes. Uh, that we like to see out there are L-shaped or J-shaped. Um, there again, you know, just something where you can turn it a little bit and you're going to find that you're going to have, uh, you know, there again, an L-shaped with extra cabinet space. Uh, in some, depending upon how it's laid out in your kitchen, uh, we've seen some that are, will use that, that, back wall area as a bench area and that will lead into the dinette area so that's kind of a really cool look so if you're looking to change up your kitchen that might be something you want to consider to incorporate um, that island part of that island into kind of the dinette area of your kitchen uh, which really becomes in almost uh, kind of you get half and half on that one what you're going to get is a little bit more functionality uh, in the larger kitchen with more cabinets, more countertop space, more entertainment space. Uh, we did a project uh, last year that um, she simply had a six foot wide rectangle by 24 inch cabinet and all we did was add another, uh, we took out the old island, added in a new island and then butted 
a 12 inch cabinet to the back side so she could have extra space and then kicked out an extra uh, 12 inches of countertop space so she could entertain you know uh, serve her family husband guests um, while she's there before it was just really functional it was her cooktop was there uh, we had her um, the the pop pop-up vent hood was there so it was just one of those things that it was used for one purpose now uh, she's got some beautiful chairs around it now you know she can be cooking and entertaining her guests or her family um, it's kind of multi-purpose now um, the sink and the island we're seeing a little bit more but you definitely want to make sure it's still near your dishwasher okay um, it's just always nice because you're not you know dripping from here to here keep it close um, you might find that uh, it can be a little challenging if you're gonna go and move your sink over I find that a lot of folks are going ahead and doing preparation sinks um, when we see L or J shape sized uh, islands it really gets back to kind of more of an entertaining purpose um, you're gonna get much more cabinet space you're gonna get much more countertop space um, and really it, it gets back to kind of how you like to lay things out and how it fits you your family and your lifestyle um, you can still put that stove top in the island and still have a lot of space what you'll find um, is you can bump that extra you know you can bun, bump that countertop space out just a little bit more uh, to give yourself you'll have to have it reinforced but uh, be able to have it as an eating area or even put an upper level above it uh, as a kind of a, either eating or bar area uh, around the cooktop area so these are some of the things that we're going to suggest to you folks when you're going ahead and remodeling your kitchen um, hopefully uh, you can take some of this and run with it certainly go out there and take a look on on Pinterest and house and there's some great areas to find some great systems great suggestions out there so I want to thank you again for joining me I'm Mark at discover your home thanks for having a wonderful evening and we'll see you next week good night